Hello Aquarius and welcome to Soul Guidance with Adriana. I'm an intuitive life coach and I help you discover your own truth. Let's go ahead and get started with your intuitive reading for the week. Hmm. Four of Wands, Optimism. All right, this is a very hopeful, happy card. <laughs> there, there's a lot of celebratory, happy energy with this card, but also a very open horizon, which means that there's still room to grow. There's still places to go, but we're definitely in a good spot. Also, there's the sense of freedom that comes with the idea of open horizon, that perhaps you don't have to lock into one way just yet. You can um, consider other options. So the structure that's in place doesn't feel like rigid. It feels like there's a little bit of flexibility in it, a little bit of um, give, a little bit of pull. So this looks like a very good place to start your week. Let's look at beneficial energy, magician, lovely, and challenging energy, nine of wands, conflict. Okay, so it's looking like the openness that's here is a bit of a two-edged sword for you because on one hand, there is room to grow but there's also the potential because the way isn't set yet for others to have kind of a pull or a say over it. So let's talk about the beneficial energy first. Magician. Magician is asking you to take the lead and to use your mind, to use your intellect, to really formulate the direction that you want to go. This is a manifesting card. We have all the elements present on this card. It's also the card of new beginning and of power. There's a peacock feather here. So you're, what's, <laughs> we talked about with these two cards, there's an openness, there's a blank slate willing to be written on. And it's up to you to kind of guide and control where you want this destiny to unfold, how you want this situation in your life to go. And I really want to encourage you, it's more with my other deck than this one, but to dream big. There's something about the dawn colors back here that makes me think, okay, this is a new day. I sense that this isn't about repeating old patterns or going for what worked in the past. This is about really going for it, really making something bigger than what you did before, trying something completely new, going for the best possible outcome. Outcome. The crow, I guess it makes sense, the magician, is a bird of magic. Things can happen by magic where we don't necessarily need to know how they happen. It doesn't matter, it just matters that, matters that they happen. So being open to magic, being available for magic to work in your life, but it has to do with starting with what seems like the impossible, right? That's what captivates us about magic shows, is that it seems like the impossible is about to happen. But for you, Aquarius, it's possible that the impossible could happen, all right? Now, conflict when you try too, diff too hard to defend one side of, yeah, I'm just gonna stop it there. When you try too hard to defend one side, when you get too fixated in one area and you become too rigid in that area, that's when you're gonna get into a problem. Remember I said the magician has all the elements, water, roots, air, and what's, where's fire? Fire. Oh, swords. Anyway, <laughs> got all of them, right? Yeah, feathers would be the wands and then the sword would be the arrow that we see here, the direction. So shift to another, shift to something else. If one thing isn't working here, just then start to work on a different facet of it, a different part. And then this energy will clear and start to move forward. If you start to get too fixed or too stuck on one thing, 
again, being open to the possibilities of difference. It's not really the week for holding your ground. It's the week for expansion, for experimentation, for trying, for possibilities, for flexibility. You get that theme. That type of approach will really serve you well this week. Okay, High Priestess, lovely, and the Emperor. Hmm. Okay, these are both two very powerful but different energies. This is about trusting the timing, trusting the timing versus trusting the willpower. This is sheer willpower. This is timing. Okay. There's something about the energy will coalesce and come together at the right time. The magician card in the tarot actually precedes the high priestess. You see, he's card number one, she's card number two. So you're getting all these facets together and she will help you bring them together. But it's very important that you explore all the different facets. Again, there's a lot going on on this card, right? It's not a simple card. It's very complex. There's a lot of inner workings, a lot of different things to explore. But it's not until the High Priestess that we see all of this come together in a package. The good news is that you don't really have to make it come together. You need to just make sure you have all the pieces of the vision. So as long as you've got the plan, the vision in your head, and you have voiced it or done what you need to do to manifest it, um, then you're going to be fine. Then the High Priestess will naturally bring it together in the right time. But you're not going to be able to force it through with willpower. So, I mean, just don't even try, <laughs> Aquarius. Don't even try to force it through. Don't even try to really stand your ground too hard. Because if there's something going on here, then there's a reason why. It shouldn't really be, it's not ready to be settled yet. It, there's other things that need to be worked out. So I feel like this is a really exciting week, a really positive week. So I'm very excited to see what happens for you. I would love to thank you for sharing your time and your energy with me. And it's also always really wonderful to hear from you. I look forward to seeing you next time and have a good one.